Bibby will try again. James recognizing nobody's there, has an appointment with the basketball and finishes it emphatically. What's up, everybody? And welcome to another episode on the Put Back Show. My name is Slime. I'll be doing this with Teddy today. There's a lot to unravel. There's a lot to unpack. So stay tuned. Kindly subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Smash that like button if you're enjoying all these videos on the channel. And let's get straight into why we are here today. Now, uh, there's a lot to unpack, as I've said earlier. Starting from Noah Lauz's comments, which sent the whole of the NBA into... <laughs> not the NBA per se. In fact, the whole USA basketball <laughs> as a nation, basketballing nation as a whole, into a frenzy. To LeBron James saying they'll assemble the Avengers for the Olympics in 2024. To um, USA also losing in the Olympics. So there's a lot to unpack. And Let's start is. from where things kind of generated. Now, sure. the USA were playing in the World Cup. Everything was going smoothly. Till, lo and behold, one of <laughs> USA's <laughs> very <runners>, own, <laughs> Noah, Noah Laos, was in a press conference where... I, I don't even know if they specifically asked them a question about NBA being the best uh, and then you winning being called a world champion. But it seems like that was where everything was generated yeah. from. So what Noah Laos just said that he feels like people who win the NBA should not be called world champions. champions. So even the Denver Nuggets who won last year, we shouldn't tag them as world champions. Now, Teddy, what, what do you make of what, what the athlete said? It's, you see, it's so true. And I feel that coming from an athlete who is, who is presenting his nation at, at, that, at that bigger stage, it's true. Because I represent my nation, USA, mm. at the bigger stage. I win and I'm called a world champion because I contested with other countries. But then... But, in, but for that logic, contested with other countries, people are also like... For the NBA, also contesting on other countries. Yeah. Because, yeah, yeah, which, yeah, yeah, which, yeah, which, which other countries? Nikola Jokic is not from the US. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I understand you. I, I'm for no allows, though, please. I'm, making no call for me. I'm for no allows. But I, I kind of understand where it's coming yeah. from. You see, the Olympics, the in fact, um, um, the World Cup, different, mm. different countries are representing. They are trying to raise their country's flag. For the, for the uh, NBA, they are all playing where? In the U.S. So yes, it feels it's like only It's US. not a world championship. So, so you and I agree with yes. that. No allows us, right? And you see, to, to, you see most, most people, most athletes come to the NBA because of better salary mm. and because it's, it's, it's better advertised. Mm. That's, that's why. That, branding, that's, that's, yes, the branding is, is, is all on point. That's why most people move from their place just to make their name in USA because they know if you make a name in USA you so, become so one you of the saying, best are you saying that the USA is not the best league it is the best league do they have the best players they they <laughs> have some of the best players so they don't have all the best players no they don't have all wow. of the best players interesting, interesting. You don't have all the best players <laughs> no because look most look at look at most of most of uh, the MVPs current MVPs maybe from 3 years coming most of them are outsiders, uh, European players, Giannis, um, Jokic. But, but maybe maybe uh, you didn't get my question. I was like, does the NBA have the best players? And they said, do the are the Americans? The okay, best they they players? do so have yes. the best players. Yes, but they it's not all the Americans yes. that are the best players. Yes, okay, then, then, yes. Then we can agree because of with late that. now, the you, the yeah. Americans the, the are the international not. players are dominating. Yes. the European players are yes. dominating. Okay, so moving away from that, if Teddy and I agree, then that's fine. The football fans, let, let us know in the comment section what you think about Noah Lauz's comment. And then everybody kind of picking sides. We saw Stephen A also uh, pick a side, but then later he was educated on this one till he came back. <laughs> uh, recent Paul George comment, he was Same. also siding with Luan now. So it looks like right now everything has been settled. Now, moving away from what Noah Lauz said to, in fact, the actual action at the FIBA World Cup. It was it was interesting to watch Very all the teams, Very but the spotlight, of course, was on Team USA, who were beaten by the Germany in the semi-final. <laughs> a lot of people had USA winning, but yes, Germany winning. It kind of sent you no know, allows us comment into the spotlight once again. Mm. We forgot what everything was going like. We forgot what uh, was going down during the the whole no allows us comment yeah, era. It, it went down. Then the World Cup came. They lost, and I and was back I, in the limelight. Yes, but but what do you make of USA losing to Germany? USA losing to this look the USA team itself I think they have a lot to learn because when you are playing the FIBA and you watch the other teams more pick and roll more slashing more cutting more passing and it's like most of their game is give it to one guy Absolutely. open the space and then let him do whatever it was one on one one on one one on so one so we saw game. Antonio Edwards with a lot of possession yes in, in the and it's like place. he was always saving them Whenever they are not getting the points, oh, just give the ball to him. 
he will do it. And that's so it. So you felt like the, more teams had chemistry. Yes. The, the fact is, the fact is, for the USA, it, if it's about a month or two before they assemble the squad, for Team Germany, different. they've been playing in yes, the Euros together. Franz Wagner, Mo Wagner, then the Schroeder. The same the roster. Has been there. Yes. Serbia, they've been playing together for yeah, a very long most time. Most of so, them. So you weren't shocked that USA lost. I, I really wasn't shocked. I really wasn't shocked because the way they were playing, when if you watch the game against Lithuania, you realize that these, these people, size-wise and even... Um, um, gelling in, in terms of them playing together it's not been it's not been they've not been playing together for some time so there weren't there, there wasn't that spark mm -hmm. but then i think like you said if you give them two to three months to train for this or they would, they would, they would have really ob obliterated everyone <laughs> that, that that's where the americans will come in and see they brought their team b team c. there's nothing like a team b team c <laughs> they are the ones every, yes you, everyone is bringing their best and you brought your best and then <laughs> you lost so there's nothing like you there, there's no excuse for this well, right, right right now you put big lebron vex so after <laughs> usa lost right now lebron say vex yeah they are taking things into consideration with other superstars the likes of kevin durant Chris Paul, Stephen Steph Curry, Curry, Damian Lillard, yeah. Bama, Debaya, I mean, Power Pack, Joel and B. Power Pack. <laughs> Want to go into Olympics 2024 in Paris? It, it's just going to be crazy. Even thinking about it, and Olympics 2024, all of the teams will be there. But for Team USA, trying to assemble things like this, it looks like. They want to remind everybody why they are the best basketball yes. in the nation. And, and after the the falling out against the Germany, I think Noah Laos's message is now echoing around the mm. world so mm. much that mm. the, the USA basketball and the US league is, is at stake now. <laughs> so they have to bring their Avengers. Avengers have to, they have to assemble, assemble them Italy. and they have to represent and then they have to win because mm. it's easy to be 8-0 and, mm. and take mm. take it all. It's so easy. So they have to bring it and show the world that yes, we are the best. We are but the but, best but there are people who doubt that USC can actually assemble. Like if even if they do assemble that squad, mm -hmm. they do not win the Olympics. It's, you, it's possible. Mm, it's possible. Is it really possible it's for very... you to beat a team of LeBron, <laughs> Steph, Taylor, KD? Yeah, challenge, challenge, the challenge, only challenge. the only look sometimes when you when you assemble big names like mm. that the only problem is everyone is trying to show off like everyone wants to show well that here, they, are, here, a, 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 they are they are they are the, one of the best players but here here's the case where this is not the first time they are teaming True. with superstars 2012 the olympics we saw lebron back back. Uh, kobe yeah. d-wade all in their prime but they mm. were still able to play True. Uh, manage the minutes who gets the ball here who who takes care of possession here who's doing this who's doing sure. that so they all know their rules and i feel like that that's what they are trying to do now i just recently saw kakuzma's uh yes yes, uh, yes. message on twitter, twitter where yes. the De devin Boka told him he will be the one to even <laughs> accept those rules so it seems like Charlie team usa they they're, they're make ready so it, it's going to be interesting how the olympics go but there's also the the um contradiction about who starts for yes, the USA. Yes. I saw a draft of people trying to make the starting five. So we can all agree that Steph will start. Steph, so Steph, Steph will start. Steph will start. Steph over Dame. Steph over Dame. And LeBron is starting, obviously. Le Le LeBron, Steph, KD. I feel like these three, yes. we, we can't yeah. start them. And then Embiid is starting because who else? If, if, if Embiid, if is, Embiid on is on the team, well, what are Anthony Davis? No, 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 no. Or no. Anthony Davis plays the four then, then, then yes, the he, yes, because because I think um, rumors rumors coming in that mm. right now Anthony Davis wants to feel comfortable playing the power forward, so he can play but, the four. I know Lakers fans are not happy about that because you're already they hit already. They said he can't play yet. <laughs> <laughs> you will go see him two years later. <laughs> <laughs> that boy, I make happy say I don't hear any kawaii for George. <laughs> sit to your house and <laughs> sit to your house. Then train oh, your God. dream with the bag. So so we all agree for Steph, KD, and then LeBron. LeBron. For Anthony Davis and beat, but people feel like they will book and Jason Tatum should get a shout and a start because oh, last true. year Olympics we saw we saw we saw the two also, also play very well. You see, it's it's when when it comes to fever, you have to accept that okay, I will sit on the bench, mm. come on and then do and, and, and do but, my but, role. But, but but here's the case where the starting lineup we put out, they are mm. all kind of old players. Yes, Steph, LeBron, KD, Embiid, uh, Jan, um, Anthony Davis. Yes. Maybe you could argue Embiid is still in his prime, but I won't say Steph and Co are past their primes, but maybe they won't have the energy to kind of be on the defensive end. So that's where, if you probably start at Jason Tatum, who was excellent last year, yeah. one of the MVP true. candidates last year, they can give you that on the defensive end. Very true. And you see, the reason I'm so confident is that most of these players actually went to the playoffs and went that far. Mm. Even in, even in their age right mm. now, their old age now. So I have confidence because it's just it's just 2024. Mm. Next year. 
they will they will they will just assemble. Hopefully, hopefully none of them pick up in this. That's it. That's 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 one. It's and and, and there's there's this other thing where you underperform during the playoffs and you're like, you are like, okay, I want to psych myself for the next season. I'm not ready. I want to train. I want to help my team win another championship and I want to back down. There's also that thing. So apart from injury, there's also that psychological thing where you want to be ready or mental thing that you want to be ready. So anything could happen. Anything. They could end up with a team B again <laughs> next year. So we never know. <laughs> it's, it's interesting how hard they line up because I feel like they have a lot of guts. Very. And Kyrie also wants to also join the squad. Chris Paul, Stephen Curry, Damian Lillard. Who's going to play at the point guard? Who's going to play at the shooting guard? And if you want to accommodate LeBron, KD, Anthony Davis, then maybe you'd have to go to LeBron's facility where he can play the as that point shooting guard, guard yeah. or even the point guard maybe you struggle a bit because right now he's older, but maybe okay. the shooting guard or the forward for him. But it's, it's interesting to see how, how things will go down. They'll be going up against in the Olympics, probably the likes of Germany, Serbia, they'll all be there. We'll see what happens with that one and we'll be here for all the updates on the Put Back Show. Another exciting episode for you. If you did enjoy this one, kindly smash the like button leave a like on the video until next time we are out for now